companies recognize. Mr. Durham, uh, just so people remember what this is all about, let me ask you, the Mueller investigation revealed that Russia interfered in the 2016 election in sweeping and systemic fashion, correct? That's correct. And Russia did so through a social media campaign that favored Donald Trump and disparaged Hillary Clinton, correct? As the report says, yes. And Mueller found that a Russian intelligence service hacked computers associated with the Clinton campaign and then released the stolen documents publicly? Is that right? That report speaks for itself as well. Mueller also reported that though he could not establish the crime of conspiracy beyond a reasonable doubt, he also said, quote, a statement that the investigation did not establish certain facts does not mean there was no evidence of those facts. That also appears in the report, doesn't it? It's the language of that effect, yes. In fact, you cited that very statement in your own report, did you not, as a way of distinguishing be between proof beyond a reasonable doubt and evidence that falls short of proof beyond a reasonable doubt? Correct. As an illustration of this, both Mueller and congressional investigations found that Trump's campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was secretly meeting with an operative linked to Russian intelligence named Konstantin Kalimnik, correct? That's my understanding, yes. And that Manafort, while chairman of the Trump campaign, gave that Russian intelligence operative the campaign's internal polling data, correct? That's what I've read in the news, yes. And that Manafort provided this information to Russian intelligence while Russian intelligence was engaged in that social media campaign and the release of stolen documents to help the Trump campaign, correct? You may be getting beyond the uh, depth of my knowledge, but... It's well, let me, let me say very simply, while Manafort, the campaign chairman for Donald Trump, was giving this Russian intelligence officer internal campaign polling data, Russian intelligence was helping the Trump campaign, weren't they? I, I, don't, I don't know that. You I really don't, don't know right. those very basic facts of the investigation? I know the general um, facts, yes. Do I know that particular fact myself? No. I mean, I know that I've read that in the media. And are you aware, uh, Mr. Durham, that Mueller and congressional investigations also revealed that Don Jr. was informed that a Russian official was offering the Trump campaign, quote, very high level and sensitive information, unquote, that would be incriminating of Hillary Clinton was part of, quote, Russia and its government support of Mr. Trump? Are you aware of that? Sure, people get phone calls all the time from uh, individuals who claim to have information like that. Really, the son of a presidential candidate gets calls all the time from a foreign government offering dirt on their opponent? opponent? Is that what you're saying? I don't think this is unique in your experience. Uh, so you, uh, you have other instances of the Russian government offering dirt on uh, a presidential candidate to the presidential candidate's son. Is that what you're saying? Would you repeat the question? Uh, you said that it's not uncommon to get offers of help from a hostile foreign government in a presidential campaign directed at the president's son. You really stand by that, Mr. Durham? I'm saying that, it, that people can make phone calls um, making uh, claims uh, all the time that you may have experienced. Are you really trying to diminish the significance of what happened here and the secret meeting that the president said Sun set up in Trump Tower to receive that incriminating information. You're trying to diminish the significance of that, Mr. Turner? I'm not trying to diminish it at all, but I think the more complete story is that they met and it was a ruse and they didn't talk about Mrs. Clinton. Uh, and, and you think it's insignificant that he had a secret meeting with the Russian delegation for the purpose of getting dirt on Hillary Clinton and the only disappointment to express that meeting was that the dirt they got wasn't better. You don't think that's significant? I don't think that that was a well-advised thing to do. Oh, no. oh, not, not well-advised. Right. Well, that's, that's the understatement of the year. So you think it's perfectly appropriate or, or maybe just ill-advised for a presidential campaign to secretly meet with a Russian delegation to get dirt on their opponent? You would merely say that's inadvisable? Yeah, if you're asking me what I do, it, I, don't, I hope I wouldn't do it. But it's, it was not illegal. Uh, it was... It was stupid, foolish, ill-advised. Well, it, it is illegal to conspire to get uh, incriminating opposition research from a hostile government that is of financial value to a campaign. Wouldn't that violate campaign laws? I don't know. I don't know all those facts to be true. Well, your report, Mr. Durham, doesn't dispute anything Mueller found, did it? 
No, our, our object, our aim was not to dispute Director Mueller. I have the greatest regard, highest regard for Director Mueller. He's a patriot. The only distinguishment between his investigation and yours <coughs> is he refused to bring charges where he couldn't prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, and you did. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from